Can you imagine a world without the internet? All forms of communication have to be done in person. Your pile of homeworks will be left unanswered, and it could even render your devices useless. Now what if this phenomenon called the solar storm might actually make that nightmare come true? Hey there, welcome to Eventful Insights. Today we're going to talk about the solar storm that has been splashing the headlines recently. Will it doom humanity to lose a crucial thing, or is it all just mere fear-mongering? But before we answer those questions, what are you going to do if we lose internet from all over the world? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, before anything else, we must first understand what a solar storm is. A solar storm is like a disturbance on the sun that has ripple effects throughout the entire solar system, including Earth and its protective magnetosphere. Picture it as the sun having its own version of tantrums with two main actors, solar flares and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. Solar flares are like intense bursts of energy and light in the sun's atmosphere often joined by CMEs that shoot electric charges and magnetic fields toward Earth at high speeds. Think of it as the sun throwing a powerful cosmic fastball our way. These solar events can lead to geomagnetic storms, causing trouble for satellites and power grids. Solar radiation storms, on the other hand, are like the sun, unleashing a barrage of charged particles at breakneck speeds, potentially causing havoc for electronic circuits and even biological DNA on Earth. On a brighter note, these solar tantrums can also paint the sky with mesmerizing northern lights. And just like the sun has its mood swings, solar storms follow an 11-year cycle, with times of peak activity featuring several of these cosmic disturbances each day. It's like the sun has its own celestial calendar with frequent stormy seasons. Imagine a cosmic event like a solar storm causing major issues on Earth, from knocking out power to disrupting water supply and messing with our electronic gadgets. Now let's think about it in our everyday lives. What if your lights suddenly went out, your phone lost signal, and you couldn't access water because of a solar storm? It sounds like a sci-fi movie, but it's a real possibility. While the chances of a full-blown catastrophe are low, it's interesting to consider how our daily routines could be affected by something happening way up there in space. So, how would you adapt if a solar storm decided to shake things up in your neighborhood? A solar storm is an unavoidable occurrence and humanity is not entirely ready for the potential consequences it might bring. While many solar storms either don't affect Earth or are too weak to cause significant issues, historical events like the Carrington event in 1859 have shown the potential for severe disruptions. This extreme geomagnetic storm, named after Richard Carrington, led to widespread chaos, including compass malfunctions, telegraph network failures, and auroras visible as far south as the Caribbean and Mexico. It serves as a historical benchmark for the most intense geomagnetic storm observed on Earth. Concerns about another Carrington-level solar storm are heightened as solar activity has been on the rise, with the average number of sunspots reaching a 21-year high in 2023. While the exact timing of such an event is unpredictable, the impact on modern technological infrastructure could be severe potentially causing blackouts, satellite failures, and disruptions to communication systems. Efforts to prepare for these events include the development of technologies like NASA's Dagger system, which uses artificial intelligence to predict solar flares up to 30 minutes in advance. In June 2013, a team of researchers at Lloyd's of London and Atmospheric and Environmental Research, or AER in the U.S., figured out that if a similar solar storm happened today, it could cost the United States somewhere between 60 cents and $2.6 trillion in damages. This big amount shows how much money could be lost due to the harmful effects of a powerful solar storm on our modern systems. It includes damage to things like technology, power systems, and communication networks. This estimate highlights the importance of being ready and having plans in place to protect against these kinds of financial losses. If a powerful solar storm were to occur with today's technology, Several industries would be highly vulnerable to its disruptive effects. The energy sector would face significant challenges, with power grids and electrical systems at risk of widespread outages. Communications, including satellite systems, GPS, and terrestrial networks, could experience interruptions, impacting telecommunication and navigation services. The electronics industry would be at risk of device damage, particularly those connected to power grids or satellite systems. 
aerospace industries relying on satellites for communication and weather monitoring could face operational issues. The financial sector, heavily dependent on electronic transactions and communication, might experience disruptions in trading systems and data transfer. In healthcare, medical equipment and communication systems could be affected, impacting patient care and data transmission. Additionally, national security could be compromised, as military and defense systems heavily rely on communication and satellite technology. But what are these looming headlines recently that have sparked a discussion of an impending loss of internet and Wi-Fi all over the world? Before we delve into that, what would you do if another phenomena like the Carrington event happens again? Leave a comment below. The escalating solar activity, combined with our increasing reliance on the internet, has prompted concerns about the possibility of an internet apocalypse, as articulated by Professor Peter Becker of George Mason University. According to Becker, the internet has flourished during a period of solar quiescence, and we are now entering a phase of heightened solar activity. This intersection raises unprecedented challenges due to our global economic dependence on the Internet. Becker emphasizes the need for awareness and preparedness, leading a project with the University and the Naval Research Laboratory to establish an early warning system for solar storms. Becker explains how solar storms work by comparing solar flares to a quick burst of light and CMEs to a powerful shot. The fact that CMEs are hard to predict shows why it's crucial to detect them early. Becker's project is trying to give us a heads up about 18 to 24 hours before solar stuff hits Earth and starts messing with the magnetic field. He talks more about what could happen if a solar storm hits Earth, focusing on how important systems could be in trouble. Imagine big blobs of super hot flares flying from the sun during a CME. Some of it hits Earth and messes with the planet's magnetic field. This messing around can cause unexpected electrical issues making the part of our electrical systems that usually keeps things safe become a potential problem. Becker wants us to understand that even computers that are supposed to be safe because they're grounded could be damaged. In a solar storm, sneaky electric currents could mess up seemingly safe devices, including delicate electronics. Becker highlights a comparison between the sturdy telegraph wires from the past and the delicate electronics used in today's internet infrastructure. This emphasizes the increased likelihood of significant damage. Despite these apparent risks, Becker points out a significant challenge in convincing large corporations to strengthen their systems against solar storms. He suggests that, currently, many of these companies don't see a strong economic reason to take the necessary protective steps. This raises concerns about broader consequences, going beyond just disruptions in communication to potential economic turmoil. The Internet's delicate electronics being vulnerable to solar storms emphasizes the pressing need for thorough readiness, plans, and measures to ensure infrastructure resilience. The interview with Becker doesn't explicitly suggest that people should be alarmed and panicked. It emphasizes the need for awareness and preparedness regarding the potential impact of solar storms on critical systems, particularly the Internet infrastructure. While the consequences could be significant, the focus is on understanding the risks, implementing early warning systems, and developing strategies to mitigate potential damages. Becker's insights highlight the urgency of being proactive and ensuring the resilience of our infrastructure rather than promoting alarm or panic. If we don't get ready for the possible effects of solar storms, it could lead to a lot of problems. Important systems like the power grid, satellites, and communication networks might have issues, causing widespread disruptions. Unexpected electrical issues could happen due to changes in Earth's magnetic field during a solar storm causing long-lasting problems and damage. Also, our sensitive electronics, especially in the Internet system, might face significant and long-term damage. If big companies, which currently don't have strong reasons to invest in protection, don't make their system stronger, the aftermath of a solar storm could cause more than just communication issues. It might mess up the economy. In simple terms, not preparing well for the impact of solar storms could leave us in trouble with lasting infrastructure problems, disruptions in important services, and possibly severe economic issues. It's crucial to take action ahead of time to be ready and tough against the potential problems these solar events could bring. To sum it up, it's really important to be ready for the effects of solar storms. The sun getting more active, especially when we rely so much on technology, means we need to be smart about it. If we don't prepare well, there could be big issues like disruptions to critical systems, 
and even problems for our economy. Although upcoming solar weather events are unlikely to result in an internet apocalypse, it's crucial to anticipate possible disruptions and ensure that operations can persist, even with reduced power or limited connectivity. That is all for today's video. If you want to watch more videos such as this, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.